Hey there everyone, welcome back to another food adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we are going back to Alexandra Village Food Centre to try some more food there and this time we are going in the evening time. And some of the foods we are going to try are this, 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 this. And so, Let's get to it and let's eat lots of food. Let's go, go, go. As per usual, how to get there from Red Hill MRT Station you head towards Exit A yes Exit A so once you get out of the gantry you turn right and you keep walking straight keep walking and then you will see a pedestrian crossing which will let you cross across the road and opposite there opposite the road opposite the road you will see the bus stop so basically, we're going to wait for the pedestrian crossing and then we're going to cross the road. As you see, you know, rain or shine, there's food to be eaten. So let's get to it. Okay, so once you cross the road, you turn right and then you will see the bus stop there. So you will actually take two buses uh, the num bus numbers are 33 or 120 okay. and so this is the bus stop you take it from so you keep sitting the bus keep sitting the bus until you see this uh, tracks this is actually the MRT track overhead once you cross the MRT track okay directly beside it is actually a red and blue building okay in in front of this building is actually a bus stop you do not stop at this bus stop you stop at the next bus stop so this is the bus stop you don't stop at okay so you pass this bus stop and after you pass this bus stop, you will have to press the button. Okay, you press the bell, and then the bus will stop at the next bus stop. Okay. okay. All right. Once you get off the the bus stop, okay, you walk along the road. Just keep walking along the road until you reach this uh, junction okay then cross the road here at the pedestrian crossing okay. and then so basically you're going to take the you wait for the light to change and you're going to cross across this road here which is Jalan Bukit Merah and you just keep crossing the road okay after the road, you will actually see a pedestrian crossing. You will have to cross the pedestrian crossing. And in front of the pedestrian crossing is actually a flight of stairs. Take it up and then go straight towards the block. Okay. At the block here, once you reach the block, you turn left. And after you turn left, you just keep walking straight all the way down. But walk all the way down and at the end you will see Alexandra Village Food Center here we are at the front of it okay the first shop you'll be eating at is actually Star Yong Huang BBQ Seafood and one of the dishes that's well known here 
um, besides uh, their seafood uh, stir fry dishes, is their grilled stingray, sambal grilled stingray. So we're gonna try it now. And so this is the sambal grilled stingray. So basically, you have the grilled stingray, a slice of it, and then you put a generous amount of sambal, and then you uh, grill it on the grill it, and after that. You put in some raw onions, and then you put in some lime for some uh, for some sourness. Overall, it's okay. It's better to eat it when it's still uh, freshly cooked. Other than that, it's a uh, passable sambal stingray. Only thing is a bit expensive. Basically, eating seafood in Singapore is basically more expensive than other types of food. Oh yes, this one, you, like I said, you must eat this nice and warm, but it's still hot, then it should taste quite good. Okay, here is my taste. Look at that, the meat was just pulls off the bone. And you eat it with uh, lots of sambal. Mmm! quite good when it's still warm overall it's okay next is actually beef noodles uh, supposedly these beef noodles come from uh, Chinatown and so we just have a try and see how it goes I'm gonna order two types the one in soup and the one that is dry basically I order the same ingredients, it's just that one is soup, which is this is a soup one, okay, and I didn't order noodles in here. So basically, you have all the ingredients that goes in the dry one, except for this is a soup version. Okay, so you have a uh, tripe, then you have a bean sprouts, then you have some lean meat, then you have some uh, jerky meat with some tendons in it, and then you also have uh, stomach and tendon. So these are all bits and pieces of the uh, of the cow, and this is the new, the dry one. Basically, dry ones. The difference is that you have a starchy brown sauce that you eat with noodles. Okay. Both are enjoyable. It just depends which one you prefer. Uh, for the noodles itself, it's quite okay, quite you know, quite filling, quite mm, tasty. If you like beef, uh, odds and ends, this is a good place. Next stall is called O Bungo Satay. This stall actually makes satay. You can have it in um, beef, pork, chicken. And this shop actually does make quite good satay. Just that you may not want to go too late because they do run out of their uh, satay. So basically, the satay is the one in front there with the skewer meat. I think during this time, they actually ran out of pork. So we had beef and chicken. chicken. And then behind that is called ketupat. Ketupat is actually a Malay item, which is a uh, steamed rice cake. And this one here is the sauce that goes together with the satay. It's a peanut sauce together with uh, Pineapple. Okay, here's the ketupat, the rice cake. They actually wrap it in, in leaves to give it to get to get it in the shape. Okay, so here is the satay itself. Let me just take one satay. Okay, so you have the pureed uh, pineapple. You mix it together with the peanut sauce, which is also I have a bit of a chili to it. Just mix it up all together and mm, all in one go. That's for those people with a big appetite and a big mouth. Take it all in one go. The satay here is actually pretty this pretty good. You I suggest if you come here, this is one of the better things to order here. Next, which is uh, right beside the Star Yong barbecue seafood, is actually the 
Dover Road, Wantan Noodle Shop. Basically, this shop serves uh, Wantan Noodles. Okay. The noodles here are a bit bouncy, so those people who like their texture, who come to eat Wantan Noodles for the noodle texture, will like this uh, shop. Okay. So basically, you have this plate of uh, Wantan Noodles. The char siu is the Singapore style, where the skin is actually quite red. And then you have some blanched vegetables, and you have some wonton with the soup. So basically this is a... Like I said earlier, the texture of the noodles itself. And then this is the wonton, this is the noodle. It's more of the it's a wonton noodle with soya sauce at the bottom. Okay, so basically you mix in the noodles. They actually give quite a big portion of noodles. The portion is quite generous. The noodles itself is quite uh, nice and bouncy. So for those people who love uh, noodles in this texture, you may like these noodles. Uh, for those people who go for the overall, overall it's still tasty, it's just that the char siu itself is uh, not the Hong Kong style or Malaysian style type, it's more the Singapore style type and the wontons are just uh, passable. But if you do like the nice bouncy texture of noodles, uh, this is actually a good place for you to try if you do like that style of noodles. Next up is Teochew Braised Duck Rice. Basically, this is another braised duck store okay, where you have a duck which is braised in a braising sauce and then you then it's served, uh, cut up and served together with rice. So the important thing about the braised duck rice is actually the braising sauce they use to braise the duck. The duck sauce has to be has to be uh, potent enough to, to penetrate the skin and get rid of some of the gaminess of the duck itself. So let's see how it, this um, shop goes. Okay so here is the dish itself, a uh, quite simple dish. So you have your duck on your right and then the rice on your left. So basically you they put some of the braising sauce onto the rice. Okay, overall, this uh, it's actually the braising sauce is actually slightly better than the one we had at the Red Hill Food Center, and the sauce does penetrate into the meat slightly more than the other shop itself. And overall, if you eat the skin itself, the skin is full full of the braising sauce full of the braising sauce flavor and it's actually quite nice and if you actually pour in the braising sauce into your rice it adds I mean it's actually also quite good so overall it's a quite uh, nice dish for those people who like uh, duck and duck in the braised braise style mm, let me try the rice here. Yep, you can taste the braising sauce in the rice itself, it's quite tasty. So, overall not bad. Not too bad a dish. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for my second visit to Alexandra Village Food Centre. Uh, this is a food centre that also serves lunch and also uh, dinner. So, certain foods are available during lunch, certain are available during dinner. So. Come and explore, come and enjoy, come and eat all the food here. If you like what you see, click the like button, share and subscribe. And join me for my next episode where I go for another food adventure around Singapore. Bye bye.